uh, support system, Mr. Speaker, we must be creative so that we don't subject our people to go to withdraw, Mr. Speaker. Now, finally, Mr. Speaker, they come, the commercial banks, and I, want, I don't want to name the names of those commercial banks. Mr. Speaker, those commercial banks are taking advantage. And for, for example, Mr. Speaker, without naming these commercial banks, why would you give a certain commercial bank that does not have even the agent up to the lowest, uh, some small center somewhere in, for example, Chapter Y Center, somewhere in Masab Sub County, Mr. Speaker? Or somewhere in Mwombo, a farthest corner, somewhere in Tindred Sub County? Yet you give a bank, Mr. Speaker, that even do not have uh, even one or two branches in Kapsabet Town, which is the sub-county headquarters or the county headquarters of Nandi County, Mr. Speaker, or somewhere in Kilifi. Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Labor and Social Welfare, let us either use M-Pesa. I know uh, some people might complain that they are being blacklisted through CRB. Mr. Speaker, there is an amnesty from the government up to early next year. And in fact, mercy, Mr. Speaker, that is only given once in a lifetime has been given to the CRB uh, list holders, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to urge that our elder people, Mr. Speaker, have served this nation. Let us treat them with dignity that it serves by ensuring that there is transparency, Mr. Speaker, and accountability, Mr. Speaker. And finally, the, when this committee appears, the peers in charge and the minister, Mr. Speaker, must tell us for the last three years, Mr. Speaker, for the last three years, they must tell us how much have they dispensed to how many elderly people in this republic? Who are they? The ID number? Mr. Speaker, because we are being told, Mr. Speaker, in the last era of Uru Kenyatta, last three months he used 50 billion that no one can account for. So we don't want to be told 50 billion was used to give to Waze, yet we don't know what that Waze was, Mr. Speaker. And maybe they were being used by Azimio campaigns, Mr. Speaker. So that issue must be handled with properly because we cannot operate the transition of a government, Mr. Speaker. We want to protect going into the future, Mr. Speaker. You cannot use 50 billion and you cannot account for it, Mr. Speaker. These people must tell us where the money is. What they cannot tell us, they gave it to us, yet they were using uh, for Azimio and Kenya lands campaigns in the Kenya Republic, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. Senator Beatrice Akinye. Uh, Honorable Speaker, uh, allow me just to go straight to my point without deviating to uh, uh, the sentiments by the Honorable Senator Onandi. Honorable Speaker, I rise to uh, make a point on the, on the statement of the Honorable uh, Senator for Kirinyaga, and specifically about the older person's cash transfer. Honorable Speaker, if there's anything uh, the government has done well and uh, had a good intention, it is about this cash transfer. Honorable Speaker, when this initiative uh, was begun with the Grand Coalition Government, uh, the older persons uh, in uh, the two pilot areas of Nyeri and Pondo where it began, uh, if anybody would reflect and see how those old people looked like, it was so pathetic, all, uh, Honorable Speaker. But as soon as uh, this fund was disbursed, and with the time, Honorable Speaker, you saw the honor and you saw the dignity of these older persons that were receiving uh, these funds. Honorable Speaker, I rise to emphasize the fact that this is a fund uh, that has given, uh, restored the dignity of our older persons, and all we may ask for is that, uh, Honorable Speaker, uh, that it should be disbursed in a timely manner. Honorable Speaker, these funds are used for...